Hi guys, welcome to Night School, the playlist that helps you to improve at Age of Empires 2. So today we're looking at uh, an intermediate to advanced level build order, which is the Dark Age Rush or Drush into Fast Castle. So without further ado, let's begin. <laughs> Okay, so as usual, we just start off with the uh, two starting villagers making uh, two houses, and any new villagers will go to the sheep, or in this instance, cows, and your starting villagers will then go to the cows as well once they've finished building the houses. So at this point, you want to start uh, scouting your map, use your cows or sheep or goats or whatever else you've got <laughs> to uh, aid in the scouting and uh, just trying to get as much map information as possible as soon as you can so uh, yeah it's quite an advanced build order um, quite tricky to pull off it's not certainly something that I'm particularly strong with myself because I'm not uh, not really high enough um, skill level I would suggest to be able to pull this one off uh, perfectly but uh, so we're on six villages now so the next four to come out will go to wood and build a lumber camp so yeah like I say it's quite a tough one as you can see on the actual build order guide on the screen it's um, there's a lot to it and uh, I'd certainly suggest someone of, of my level uh, will we'll find it challenging to say the least but if you can if you can master it it will certainly help uh, to progress up the ladder I think with myself it's just a case of uh, I'm quite old <laughs> so I don't have the reaction time that I used to have and uh, I just can't necessarily handle quite so much going off all at the same time uh, I think this one's more difficult than let's say Drush into Archers uh, because whilst you're doing your initial rush with the militia uh, you're still trying to build an economy and follow a build order whereas with Drush Archers um, it's a little bit easier because normally you're, you're on your way pretty much to uh, Feudal Age. So your next villager to come out is going to go and lure the first boar. In this instance. And then your next villager to come out is going to head over towards the berry area and make two houses. Then your next three villagers that come out will go to berries, make a mill, and uh, start collecting from the berries. So yeah, it can be quite a quite a tricky one. It can be quite a tricky build order. Um, really got to be able to be on the ball and being able to focus on doing the rush and building your economy and following your build order, uh, which you know, probably suggests is something that I can struggle with at times especially at the moment as I'm uh, out of practice I've not been playing the game much recently so I'm a bit rusty to say the least but this guide will show, show you the build order to follow in order to be able to use your own skills to, uh, to master it so um, as you've just seen a villager has gone out to uh, lure the second boar that was from your existing boar villagers down there and your next villager to come out is going to go to gold collect 10 gold and then it's going to go to uh, going to go to the wood after that so the next villager to come out is going to go to make barracks and then as soon as the barracks is made uh, they'll want to make a house and you'll also want to be uh, making three militia. So the next four villagers to come out now are going to go to wood and they're going to make a second lumber camp. At this point they're just going to collect from the straggler trees because we haven't got enough wood to get the second lumber camp just yet. But there's, that tree is close enough to the town centre uh, to be able to gather from there for now. As well, whilst you're doing all this you need to be scouting the map still finding where the enemy base is so you know exactly whereabouts you've got to uh, attack and, uh, and harass the enemy. So as you can see barracks has been made a little bit slow in uh, creating the militia there. But you can see the new lumber camps on its way. Okay that's the final villager out to the woods. So the next two are going to go to berries, 
Do have the militia on the way now. And I'm just going to make a second house as well. With, uh, with that villager before she goes over to wood. At this point you can start looking at taking some villagers off of the uh, sheep and start making some farms. As you can see I've not done a particularly good job of scouting the map. <laughs> know where the enemy is but I've been so focused on following the build order and getting it right that uh, I've uh, neglected to find where the resources are. But be able to find where the wood lines are so that's uh, quite important to be able to uh, find those. Okay, so the next villages that come out are going to go to sheep um, so we've got a population of uh, 32 and each time we get 60 wood we're going to build a, uh, a farm at this point. So the drush is uh, on its way in now the militia and the scouts are going to go and just start harassing this wood line so in a multiplayer game your aim is not to kill villagers as such it's more a case of just trying to distract them and pull them off the resources and just generally put the player off and uh, slow them down a bit because all the time the villagers are around doing all of this walking around they're not collecting resources so you, you, you're slowing them down do that for long enough and it's going to have quite a significant effect and you never know you might even be able to pick off a villager or two in the, uh, in the process now you will find when you're playing against the AI the AI likes to uh, attack with all of its villagers <laughs> um, so um, once your final villagers come out now uh, you're just going to click loom and then go to the feudal age. So again, we'll just look back home. So as soon as the feudal age starts, you're going to say send four villagers from your sheep over to mine gold. So it just leaves you with a couple of villages there for the sheep. Once those sheep are finished, you'll just make farms of those villagers. And all the while that's happening, you're still going around with the militia and your scout, just harassing the enemy where you can. So I've not actually, uh, I think I may have killed one villager at this point, but I think as long as you can just keep causing damage and harassing them, and again, look how many villagers have now stopped pre um, gathering resources, there's a hell of a lot. So a lot of time wasted by the, uh, by the red player there. As I say, this is the AI, they do tend to just pull everything and start attacking you. You may find in a multiplayer game that uh, people will react differently, so they may wall up where they can around the resources to stop you getting in there and attacking. Um, or they may just, uh, they may even attack you like the AI is doing, but um, you, you'd probably tend to find it won't be with quite so many villagers as the AI is doing. So just hit and run, hit and run. They need to make some farms, and obviously concentrate on what I'm doing up there. But at this point, now the uh, few villagers come in. You make two villagers, send those to gold. Immediately make an archery range and a blacksmith. And uh, once those are all finished, you should have enough food and gold to be able to click up to the castle age. So I think I've lost a few, few seconds there. Uh, quite a few seconds. Of uh, so a bit of idle time on the town centre because again I was trying to manage the militia, build the economy, get the build order right, and it just uh, didn't quite work out as planned. You may need to drop off a little bit of food like I've just done there to be able to click up. So at this point, then I'm on the way up to the castle age, I'll try and get a double bit X where you can I would suggest and you put your um, villages from the berries once the berries are completed just split them up between gold and wood that? I've got nine on gold there maybe a little bit too many but it should be able to maintain uh, double range archery production uh, I did make a farm with one of those and then the other two to wood uh, but at this point you want to also get second range start making some uh, archers so you've got a few ready to go by the time you hit the castle age and um, also potentially if you've got enough resources start looking at getting some uh, blacksmith or craze like fletching uh, or the uh, padded archer armor so again just one <laughs> remaining militia just to distract a little bit more before dying there 
Scout's about dead, so I'm just using them to do some scouting at this point. Further scouting of the map, try and find where all the other resources are on the map. As you can see, quite a few archers on the way now. So that once we hit Castle Age, we can go straight into Crossbowmen and go on the attack. So we've got Fletching coming in, we've got Double Big Axe coming in, we've got Horse Collar coming in. You may want to prioritise um, sort of saving the food from horse collar at this point, perhaps put it towards some of the archer upgrades. Uh, but uh, as soon as Castle Age comes in, we start uh, crossbowmen and continue to uh, produce archers. So your next villagers to come out, they're going to go um, to uh, making two farms. Send some more to gold if you need to send some more to wood if you need to at the moment you can see the woods a bit low but that's because I've decided to make a university so I did have quite a lot of gold in the bank when we first hit Castle so we could have potentially made a town centre rather than go for university uh, the whole uh, aim of going for the university at this point is so that I can get uh, ballistics which will just make the attack a little bit better there we go so we've got quite a few together now and at this point it's just pretty much keep making farms start getting your food economy going uh, just so you can get some further resources and upgrades and uh, as you can see just go in start raiding the enemy uh, resources start picking off their army you can see just how effective it is. Once you've got a little cluster of them like that, you can pretty much one shot everything. Uh, certainly, once ballistics comes in, we could cause a lot more damage than we are doing here because we'll have less arrows missing. But as you can see, loads of villagers going down at this point. And that's pretty much it for this build order. Um, so, as you can see, there is a lot to do. I'm sure my timings aren't as good as they perhaps ought to be. Um, but uh, hopefully you can learn from this and you will be able to master it and be better at uh, executing the build order than I am. So, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one.